Lorraine. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, who do you think who do you think is going to be the next prime minister? Do you know what? I yeah. think I'm going to be really careful how I say this. Hunt, hunt. Without. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. it has yeah. been mispronounced yeah. a few yeah. times Definitely. this week. Yeah. Yes, he could slither in. <laughs> it's, exact, it's exactly what he'd do, isn't it? <laughs> Sliver. He could, though. He could. Sure? Yeah. I don't know. I, I most, I'm assuming it'd be Boris, almost definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like the idea that when there was loads of them, <laughs> just the ones that, you know, the ones that dropped out, Andrea Leadsom and... You know, you just say, what were you thinking? Why did you even... It's like people who run the marathon and dress up as a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah. and I got beaten by a rhino what? and a Cornish pasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's true. I was so slow, I was running backwards at one point. Yeah. <laughs> well, why do they... Why, I don't know why they bother at all. Half, I mean, it's really between those two, isn't it? Well, this Michael th Gove is such a mealy-mouthed... Just such a hypocrite. Yeah. I mean, the, the whole drug Scottish? thing... She's Scottish as well, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> really, really, really but sorry. The, the drug thing, I, what I thought was interesting about the drug thing was you thought to yourself, I wanted them. I think they should have taken more drugs. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're three narrow-minded. They all think and they say they haven't taken enough. I'd like them to all take an ease. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of no deal Brexit, they'd be at Dover with a whistle. Just <laughs> bring everyone in. I like them to just <laughs> get some. Well, Josh and I just bend their, twist their melons a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think people struggle with words to really, you know, nail Boris down. He's one of those people that sort of continues to sort of keep going regardless of what. Yeah. It's sort of summed up, I think, best in a noise. <laughs> yeah. A sort of noise from deep within. <laughs> yeah. A sort of, sort of groaning, empty, escaping. <laughs> <laughs> noise sums up how a lot of people would feel about Boris Johnson. Sort of like a. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, politics this week got a bit... Have you been following Change UK, Sean? No, I, I, I just don't have the time in my life to <laughs> fret about whatever the hell it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why anyone bothered? But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's... Boris is definitely going to win, as far as I can say. I'm, I'm, I'm with um, uh, uh, Josh with that. I think yeah. he'll definitely win. Yeah. I don't see any of them beating him. And also, it'd be a good thing if Boris won, just because currently it's 19 prime ministers from Eton, and it's not a nice number. It's 20 is better. <laughs> <laughs> 20 is what you want. Yeah, it's I a good round number. I find myself frequently going down to the gates of Eton and trying to guess which snotty-nosed little piece of shit <laughs> will be ruining our lives in 20 years' time. So, uh, that's what I do. The World Cup is on at the moment. OK, here's what happened since last week. England beat Scotland uh, last Sunday. Australia lost to Italy. Uh, Scotland and England both played today. Scotland were beaten by Japan. England have just beaten Argentina 1-0. Uh... <laughs> Lorraine, how do you feel about Scotland? Well, we're kind of used to defeat now. It's the hope that kills you, isn't it? It's the hope that one day you might... At least we're in a tournament. I'm happy. We're there. It's wonderful. And it's Sh good. It's really good to watch. Sean, have you been watching? Uh... <laughs> What's the right answer? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't watch it because... Um, oh, same yeah. reason I don't watch uh, Rotherham versus um, Mansfield. Um, <laughs> Women are amazing. They no, they are, they are, they are really amazing. No, I don't tell you why I don't watch it. It's not enough spitting. <laughs> There's no spitting, that's right. No. And they've got to work on that. <laughs> and also, I don't know how comfortable I feel shouting at women. <laughs> <laughs> In this day and age, you know, you're not supposed to. I mean, I know it's not, it's never been good. Um, but now it's really like, whoa, don't do that. <laughs> I shout at football, and I just uh, I don't feel comfortable shouting at them. That's so I don't, really I don't watch it. And there's the other reasons as well. That there's... Uh, oh, there's just so many reasons I just haven't got round to it. I will. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a... Career-ending opportunity for me here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's all right. After tonight, both you and Piers Morgan can be uh, collecting checks <laughs> yeah. at the Doll yeah. Centre. Does he not watch it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I haven't watched it because there's just too much bloody football on anyway. If I watch the women's football as well, it'd be ridiculous if it's non-stop football in my eye. But that's okay. No, it's not okay. That's that's just too much football. Now what I mean is, I've got my own football. All day. But, <laughs> but I don't complain when you don't watch the World Men's Netball Championship. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber tweeted, uh, I want to challenge Tom Cruise to a fight in the octagon. Tom, if you don't take this fight, you're scared and you will never live it down. Who's willing to put on the fight? And added uh, Dana White who, uh, from uh, UFC. Uh, I mean... I, I, not, your age difference. I don't know what to make. Have you got any showbiz beefs, Sean? Anyone that you want to pick a fight with? Oh, Piers Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my will that uh, when I die, my ashes will be thrown in his eyes. <laughs> So, uh...